precious students. Hope you have grasped the explanation of the poem and you will be anxious to answer the questions of the exercise. But before starting the question and answers of the poem just run through the main ideas once again for brainstorming. Revision of the main ideas W. F. Holmes is the poet of this beautiful poem The Old Brown Horse. The poem is a sad description of an old brown horse who is now very old and half blind. He had seen better days when he was young. He seems to be speaking to the people who passed by the field. People, busy in their jobs, are unconcerned about the horse's existence. This is the time you understand the answers of the questions of your textbook at page 24. The first question is, What do we learn about the horse from his appearance and behavior? If you read carefully, you will find this question has two parts, first is about appearance and second is about behavior. Through his appearance, we learn that the horse is weary, old, shaggy, and not very well cared for. As far as his behavior is concerned he looks sad, but he responds to human touch. The second question is. B. What does the poet ask the reader to do? In the last stanza of the poet requests the readers to stop for a word or two and touch him softly. Because our this kind gesture will be a great happiness for the horse who is left neglected due to his physical weaknesses and his master's preference of motor car. Now the question C. When does the horse feel that life now is not so sad? If we read the last two stanzas, we can easily find the answer and that is the horse feels good when a passerby strokes its mane and shaggy coat. The horse likes his kindly touch and he doesn't mind it. This kindly touch, in fact, is an acknowledgement that once he was very strong and enjoyed the best time of his life. Now come to these questions which are more difficult. Question D is. Why is the horse no longer used for riding? Give at least two reasons. If you my dear students read carefully the first two stanzas, you can easily understand why the horse is no longer used for the riding. The last line of first stanza. A horse who is lame and half blind tells us the horse is now unable to walk and his eyesight is also weak. He is not good enough to be used for riding now. And the fifth line of the second stanza. But his master rides in a motor car. Gives us the second reason why the horse is no longer used for the riding. In fact, new methods of transportation such as the motor car have brought great change. Now, his master prefers motor car to the old way of transportation. Now the question E. E, who might have been responsible for neglecting the horse. This is not easy to answer as in one hand, the horse is lame and half blind and is useless for riding but on the other hand his master is also responsible for not giving the horse proper care. The master does not care his cleanliness and food. He has forgotten the horse which was once his favorite and now likes to use modern method of transportation. He is busy driving his motor car. Now come to the last question. What would you have done to make the horse's last years comfortable? The answer of this question should be based on your own creative mind. Think about it and write a short paragraph to justify your opinion.